What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Mom Heroes and today I'm gonna be summoning on Summer's Dream Banner and honestly I would like any of these units though I would like to complete my Sheeta emblem um, so Sheeta is gonna be a really nice unit if I could get her I'm pretty happy that Ogma actually got an alt honestly didn't expect that he would get one and I'm just gonna get a Jenny on my free summon that is amazing alright I'm just gonna be merging her not gonna be using the sheep for Wrathful Staff. Plus, attack is really good. I don't think I had that before. So, definitely we'll have to build her up. Alright. Let's try for Ogma. Poor Ogma, though. He's just gonna be compared to Summer Norn, who's a Tempest Trial Reward. Okay, I'm gonna get set it. Uh, he's definitely on my wish list. Plus, speed is really good. I was looking for that. Let's try for Freyr. So, Sheep opening up my summoning video. Okay, I'm gonna get the wrong Ogma. I think Freyr might actually be the mythic unit this uh, this month in July. Because we do have blue color open. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking about, oh wow, I'm gonna get gray? What is this? Sh Shadows of Valentia banner? <laughs> that is amazing. Oh my god. Two five star units on my first batch. So my boy Gray joins with plus speed IV. Um, I have supported him with clear actually. So let's complete the circle. Maybe I'll get a third five star on my first. Never mind. Yeah, Henry's just gonna show up. Henry's like, nope, <laughs> and he's doing his laugh. So no green stones. Um, okay, one green stone. That's good. Barst. Yeah, I just want to finish my Sheeta Emblem, so I would really like if she could show up and more green stones could show up. And, like, the pairing of Plumeria and Sheeta seemed really odd to me, but someone did explain it in the comments of my first impression video. It's like how they perceive love differently. I think that's pretty much the connection which they have, and that's why they are a harmonic unit. Honestly, I'm waiting for a harmonic Linhart with Mirabilis. Uh, <laughs> I think that would be the best one. Them just talking about how they want to sleep. And I'm gonna get Ogma here. Let's go. Any IVs are gonna be fine because I'm mostly gonna be uh, using him for collection purpose. Plus resistance minus HP. Okay. I'm definitely gonna be building him up. So don't need to summon on the blue stones anymore. Let's try to get Freyr. We never really saw his preferred weapon in story, and he's gonna show up actually. And he's gonna show up with his preferred weapon this time around in the summer outfit. I really like his art, honestly. He keeps his eyes closed. I think it has a lot of good meme <laughs> potential. Yeah. I actually really like his voice acting too. His voice is just so deep. Okay, so let's have him built up. Plus attack! Wow, I got lucky. Plus attack IV is really good. Um, defense for his cats is kind of interesting. It's pretty much like a red Dusel, um, in a way. Uh, I guess more so like Creed when it comes to the Omni Breaker effect. So, got Freya. Now, maybe Freya will show up. <laughs> so, let's begin with the questions that you guys have left in my comments. As always, if you want me to answer any kind of question in a summoning video, you can leave them in the comments with the hashtag question so that I can find them. The first question is by Froge. What movement slash weapon type combo do you want to see more of on a free-to-play unit? Can you give an example of a free-to-play unit you'd like to see in a game in this class type? Honestly, this is a really good question, so let me know in the comments as well which kind of movement class or weapon type you really want to get more as free-to-play units. I know we have got so many Lance Cavalry units, Lance Flyers, um, Red Mages, Red Infantry Mages. So let me know in the comments, that's going to be the question uh, for you guys. And honestly, I would love to see some bow flyers and mage flyers. We only got a Versa as a mage flyer. And honestly, there was a chance of giving us Reyna as the bow flyer. That could have been it. I mean, she's probably not going to have a preferred weapon. But if they could just give her like a decent preferred weapon, that would also be pretty good. So I think Reyna would be really nice. I wish she had like more supports and fates. Um, yeah, let's go on the colorless stone. Maybe... Freya is going to show up now that I have Freya. Never mind, we got Natasha Romanoff just before her Black Widow movie release. 
I really wish they would give us more uh, like mage flyers, honestly. Juno was a really good chance of doing that. Um, they just put a Versa and that's pretty much it. Never really gave us any other mage flyer. So Luthier shows up. That's my first Luthier. Plus HP minus resistance. Okay. Um, yeah, let's continue on the green stones. Not gonna summon any more on the red stones because plus attack for air is absolutely amazing. Edelgard. Wow, that's good. I do have Pharma Edelgard, which I did get. So I'm just gonna be merging her, honestly. Uh, this session has been really, really good. <laughs> just getting five stars, man. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, Camilla. I feel like she's gonna get a really nice weapon refine this year. Choose our Legends 3 units really need some really amazing weapon refines. Um, okay, two green stones. Maybe Shida could show up. The next question is by Darkkate16. Thank you so much for your amazing solution. It was, as always, very useful and needed. I have this question for quite some time. How do you approach an abyssal map when it first comes out? For example, how do you choose those exact units instead of others? And how many times do you try a specific team before switching units? On Twitter, I saw all of the posts you constantly update while trying to find the perfect uh, solution for us free to play players. Thank you so much for your hard work on those tough maps. Thank you so much for your comment. And this is a question I get asked a lot. People really want to know, um, you know, behind the scenes, I guess, of a free to play guide. Which is honestly interesting to me because it's the most boring part because it's literally just trial and error. So as for the question, how do I choose the units? Um, before, uh, you know, like a year or two ago, we had Free Arm, uh, Valentine, not Valentine, uh, you know, Vanguard Ike or Legendary Ike, and we also had Olivia as our dancer. So they pretty much used to be on every single team, and then I would pretty much fill in the fourth unit depending on who I need, essentially. And now, it's pretty much Regan, Air, and Peony, who are always going to be on any kind of team, because they're just so universally useful for any kind of in-game content, like Abyssal Maps, especially Regan. Regan is, like, insane, honestly, in my opinion. The hidden run potential, Sather Shell, is just too good. And then the fourth unit, I pretty much look at, you know, the Legendary or Mythic unit, and see if I need anyone else for that role. Otherwise, I just use Reinhardt or Mage Erika, like, for example, on Legendary Seagirt's map, uh, we know that he has got damage reduction, and we know that we have Young Innes. So, I just automatically use Young Innes from the start, because I don't want to get checkmated, because some of these solutions take, like, 5 to 10 hours, even, like, some of them have even taken me, like, 15 hours, but nowadays it's not really all that bad. So, I don't want to get checkmated at that later stage. So, I pretty much picked the unit that would help me get out of that, you know, legendary or mythic unit and help me kill them. Sometimes, like years ago, it used to be Veronica when we used to get these distant counter units and stuff like that as legendary and mythic units. So, there she was helpful. Mini Nerva at times is the glue, essentially the fourth unit. So, that's how I pick my units. I don't want to get checkmated. Like, imagine being three hours into trial and error and you d like, you come to realize that you cannot get past this certain legendary or mythic unit because none of the other free to play units can do that. So that's why I pretty much consider my options beforehand. Okay, two colorless stones. Um Norn, okay. So usually when I'm uh, <laughs> when I'm figuring out free to play solutions, I'm like on my other monitor I have like some interview or something, like some shows just running around because sometimes it gets really tedious, you know, just trial and error constantly and that's probably one of the reasons why <laughs> I don't like live stream I could definitely do that like the whole process but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get copyrighted and I'm gonna get mercy okay no uh no Freya showing up here I have a lot of free summons as well so that is good on the other banners I have 16 orbs to go. Let's see if I could get Freya or Shida, my top priority units. Um, three colorless stones is really good, so it's pretty much now or never for Freya in this batch. Because this is gonna be my last batch. Felicia showing up. Freya is already... okay. Female Corin just showing up here. Plus speed. Um, I guess I could fodder her for attack speed solo. I'm not really too sure. 
I'm getting a lot of 5 star units this batch, it's honestly crazy. I haven't really spent that many orbs to begin with. And I'm gonna get Summer Freya on the Clutch Summon. I told you guys, Freya is present in my barracks, there's no way she doesn't follow. So that's the free to play way of <laughs> getting Summer Freya. Just, summons, uh, just summon Summer Freya and she'll show up. Okay, minus speed IV. <laughs> That's fine, honestly. She's just so fast, insanely fast, that it's fine, honestly. I don't really mind too much. Minus attack would have been a bit worse, in my opinion. So, that's pretty good. Um, and she does have attack speed solo 4. Fatal smoke as well. Binding necklace. Pretty much the same thing. I wish Freyr also got some kind of exclusive slot B skill, but I guess they're saving it for, you know, his mythic banner. So, yeah. Got Summer Freya, just am missing Summer Sheeta, but honestly, I'm just extremely, extremely happy with the summoning session. Um, let's move on to the free summons I have on this account. Is another Fallen Female Corrin gonna show up? I don't know. Actually, I'll try to get Julia. Because I need to have good IV on Julia. Oh wow, Brave Edelgard. Two Edelgard showing up this session. Absolutely insane luck, I'll merge her. She has no fodders. I mean, she does have joint drive resistance, but I don't think it's really worth foddering her for that. So definitely gonna be merging Brave Edelgard. Extremely powerful unit. That is that is a good free summon. And now I'll try to get Alm. He's at like mid merge for me, so Oh wow, young Tiki. Just showing up. What's with a four-star special raid today? I'm just summoning so many five-star units. This feels like a simulation. <laughs> And this banner, I mean, can you really win on this banner? They're all 3-star, 4-star units. I wish they would make these, like, these kinds of banners have, like, 3-star, 4-star focus so that you could get these units easily. And maybe they'll use, like, less orbs. Um, okay, this banner. Um, I guess I would have tried to get some Martiki, but... No green stone here. Let's back out. And that's all of the free summons on the main account. Absolutely insane luck on the main account this time around. Like, <laughs> I didn't even spend that many orbs and I just got so many 5 star units for that value. And now let's move on to my free to play account and let's see if the luck carries over. I'm strongly saving up my orbs for this month's July Mythic Banner. Um, okay, I would have tried to get, you know, a Drift Mail Corrin because... Um, not follow up is really nice, but... No bluestone. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening today? Minus speed fallen Corin, that's fine. I mean, I'll probably fodder her to su like for sudden panic. I'm not really too sure, honestly, at this point. I already have her. Um, and she's pretty good IVs. I do use her for arena assault. Oh my god, this luck. I would love to get fire sweep bow, another fire sweep bow. Um, I do use Fire Sweep Bow on my Wrath, as you guys see in my Aether Ridge Defense Replays, and uh, I, I had to spend like 100, 150 orbs trying to get Faye from her Revival Banner. Um, it's just so incredibly rare as a weapon, because they know <laughs> it's really strong on both cavalry units. I also have like a mid-merge Sheeta. I was actually going to be plus 10 merging, uh, you know, Sheeta from this account years back, um, but then I plus 10 merged Pala. Okay, I'm just gonna get three star, three star sheet. I mean, what difference does it make, really? It really doesn't. Um, again, I would have liked to get some Artiki, but I'm just gonna summon on the blue stone. So I have two free summons left. I even got a five star unit on my free to play account. That is like insane luck. Appropriate name for this banner summon dream because this summoning session feels like a dream. I just hope I don't wake up from it. Okay, so, um... I guess I'm gonna try on the greenstone then. For maybe... Harmonic Sheeta. Never mind. I'm just gonna get a chicken. That's actually pretty good. Never mind. I'm really happy with this, uh, summoning session overall. Yeah, I'm just hoping that this is not a dream and, uh, you know, this video does show up in the, in the sub boxes of you guys. So, on the main account, it was absolutely insane the amount of 5-star units I got. 
Um, so let me know how your summoning session went in the comment section down below. You could even do that on Twitter. And I want to thank all of my YouTube members for the constant support. If you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps me tremendously. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because I wish YouTube sub boxes would show my videos as many times as I got 5 star units in the summoning session. So that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.